Hello mga engineers, good day sa inyo. Engineer Matthew here and welcome back to our small channel. For today's video, we will uh, take a look at April 2023 MST actual definition of terms. And by the way, according to my source, it was 21 items or questions na lumabas last April but uh, this time we only have 9 questions kasi ngayon lang yung uh, nakuha ko sa ating source so meron pa tayong 12 so let's start na for our number one we have the process of injecting any agent into soil or rock to increase its strength or stability protect foundation or reduce groundwater so a pumping b grouting c bleeding and d screeding so the correct answer here is Grouting B. Number two, a measure of material's ability to resist indentation or penetration. A. Hardness, B. Ductility, C. Toughness, and D. Resilience. So, common lang ito sa atin mga engineers kasi na ulit lang to. So, the answer is letter A. Hardness. Number three, we have who is given authority to review reports of inspection, accident investigation, and implementation of the program? A. Health and Safety Committee, B. DOLE, C. DVWH, and D. BFP. Okay, so, so the answer is letter A. Health and Safety Committee. Number 4. An increase in soil density of cohesive soil resulting from the expulsion of water from the soil's void species. Okay, so... A. We have segregation, B. Consolidation, C. Confaction, and D. Soil Stabilization. So the answer here is letter, I think, B. Consolidation. Okay. So number 5. Every construction project shall be a suitable blank which must be accordance with these rules and other orders and issuance issued by the DOLE. So A. We have construction safety and health program B occupational health and safety program C occupational safety and health administration and D workplace safety and procedures so same as lang dong kanina the answer here is letter A construction safety and health program number six the elements of concede the elements to consider when planning national roads are one limited frontage access to development set wall back from the highway 3. All locks to premises provided by provincial roads 4. Number of intersection to be minimized 5. Suitable at grade channel intersection for minor flows and other elements and 6. No roadside vendors So A. 1, 2, 5, and 6 B. 1, 3, 5, and 6 C. 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 and D. All of the above so the answer here shampoo is D, all of the above. Number seven. It refers to the detailed rulers to cover the process and practices that shall be utilized in a specific construction project site in conformity with OSH, including the personnel responsible and the penalties for violation thereof. So ano kaya to? So A construction safety and health program, B construction health and management. C. Department of Labor and Employment and D. Department of Trade and Industry So, common na lang din naman So, A. Construction, Safety and Health Program 8. Are made of effective materials capable of reflecting light clearly visible under normal atmospheric condition from distance of 300 to 500 meter when illuminated by the upper beam of a standard automobile headlamp A. Beam light B. Reflectors C. Delineators and D. Glare I think lumabas na rin to pero iba lang yung meaning So letter C. Delineators So 9. Delineation of road alignment needs to be considered as part of the design process to ensure that adequate guidance is provided to road users Delineation is generally provided by the use of the following devices 1. Pavement markings 2. Signs 3. Guideposts 4. Reflective delineators 5. Lighting B curb or other physical devices so a one two four and 
6 b1 3 5 and 6 c2 3 4 5 and 6 and d all of the above so sabi ko nga sa common lagi all of the above okay so god bless mga engineers